welcome to the course this is the first lesson of this course and introduction to excel so let's create an excel sheet and name that introduction let's open this and you can see over here this is a spreadsheet and here are the columns and these are the rows you can see over here with numbers and this is the formula bar and the thing which is confused the students is to remember the cell address suppose g4 h this is i5 you can see i'm going to give a tip you can remember this and as you select a cell you can see over here the cell address is written over here i5 you don't need to look here and there just click on any cell and see that here. this is the name of that cell number and here in the bottom you can see these are the sheets you can rename this you can see you can change the name and just double clicking on this and you can change its color cap color whatever you want and you can also insert a new sheet how many you have needed and this is home in the home menu you can see this is a toolbar and this is home just click on the home you can see over here that there are some color formatting and cell formatting here you can see some table tools and rather it is see you can see over here some formatting tools and here you can see the alignment weapon text merge merging different cells you can use this and here are the journal name of the cells data formatting and these are for currencies this is condition formatting you can use any kind of conditions which i will be teach you in this course and if i press the second menu you can see over here inserting pictures diagrams charts word arts and like so and page layouts you can see page size its orientations print area and in formulas you can see all these are formulas which are used in excel which i will teach you in this course all these formulas one by one by implementing with the examples and in data you can see sorting and data validations consolidations data grouping and review you can protect your sheet your work you can create users and the view you can use like this grid lines headings formula bars you can hide and add some items you can see over here freeze you can freeze the some area which is constant to show every time and here if i'm going to use a simple example like student 1 student 2 and you want to add more students like 20 you have to you don't need to write again and again just click the pattern and you can see over here i'm going to write test 1 control c control v f2 to open this and s2 and you can just drag this and i'm going to just write marks over here you can write so i'm going to limit this over here and you have to just copy control c control v 
I'm going to just you can do like so control C control V here you can see you can use I'm going to avoid the total over here you can how you can get the sum just write sum and then from here to colon sign or you can do like this select this one and control enter control C and enter you can see all the this total result has been displayed over here you align this I'm going to bold this just click control B short key and here you can do like this and I'm going to get ground total over here you can use alter is equal sign shortcut key or you can you should do like this sum select the series control C and select enter over here you can do like this if you want to get the average marks for each subject for each test you can do like this average and select the series control C here and I'm going to limit this you can do like this two decimal points and this lesson was about just explanation about the work work of the excel sheet